What's going on guys? So this is my new abode. This I'm hopefully gonna be filming uh, more videos and stuff on this couch, on this delightful couch. Uh just moved in, but I decided I'd do a little uh talk a little bit about my thesis, which I submitted three weeks ago. I know when you think thesis, you probably think boring and uh, no crack, but it's quite an interesting topic and something that is relevant to a lot of people hopefully watching this video. So I did my, the title of my thesis first of all is What influences the promotion of fitness models through Instagram having the perceived body image of Irish males aged 18 to 25? So I conducted interviews and from those interviews I then plucked different themes from it. So common themes throughout all the interviews. So one of the biggest factors that was evident from the research in how Instagram influences body image is that it facilitates comparisons. People comparing themselves to other people on Instagram, whether it be in terms of muscularity, leanness, size, or general beauty, and actual social standing a lot of the time. People looking at other people and thinking, why don't I look like them? Why am I muscular? Why don't I have the flashy ca car watch, you know, nice girlfriend? All these, you know, they say comparisons are the thief of joy, but yet it's, and I know personally myself, I've been, since I've been conducting the research, I've been trying to hone back but it is so difficult not to compare yourself to others. But it's so true what they say. You don't know what that other person's situation is. You don't know what it took to get to that muscularity. You know, they, more than likely, they're probably on steroids and fucking taking the easy option. So you have to keep this in mind when you're using Instagram. Number two, which actually facilitates factor number one, is that people only present their best selves on Instagram. When have you ever seen somebody post up a picture where they're looking fat, they're sad, they just lost their job or something and say, I'm fat and I'm depressed. Never, because people only ever post their best selves on Instagram. People only post an image of what they, other people want to see. You know, I rarely have taken a picture of myself, actually, if ever, taken a picture of myself under bad lighting. It's always good lighting. You know, I don't really use filters, but now there's this new wave of people fucking photoshopping their pictures, which is criminal. I mean, whatever about Devin Physique, but I know there's been a few different people cropping up on, social, on Instagram lately with walls bending, trying to make their waist smaller, stuff like that. You gotta realize, guys, that what you're seeing on Instagram, that is the Snapchat. That is the highlight reel of people's lives. So consider that. Realize that what you're seeing, people aren't always looking that good. People aren't always that you know, flashy. People are always aren't making that much money. They don't always have the beautiful girlfriend. They don't, they aren't always on the most amazing holidays. That is their highlight reel. So remember that when you're looking at Instagram. Third factor, it's, there seems to be a pressure to conform. So like I was saying earlier, when have you ever seen people posting negative images? Never. Because people feel obliged only to post their best pictures. And because you know, there's this kind of unwritten rule of, oh, Instagram, you have to be looking great, you have to be looking brilliant all the time. People then feel a pressure to only post their best selves and the pressure to conform so they don't post any negative images or how they're, actually, how they're really feeling inside. Fourth factor, it's the constant nature of Instagram. Traditional media, the likes of TV, you know, billboards, newspapers, magazines. A few years ago, all we ever saw you know, whenever we wanted to see these, you know, ripped physiques or beautiful people, you'd open up the magazine and there they were. But you would have had to have paid for the magazine or the newspaper or turned on the TV. Nowadays, Instagram and social media is so accessible. You know, you just turn on your phone, click of a button and you're on Instagram and you see hundreds of topless, you know, guys, girls, you know. It's constant. There's so many images all at once. It's so accessible in comparison to tra traditional media. And then finally, all these elements, they set unrealistic standards for males. And this isn't, just, this isn't just specific to men, this is specific to women. Because you're seeing such a small percentage of the population in the world on Instagram in incredible physique, it then sets a standard that's unrealistic for people. The majority of the time, like I said earlier, majority of the time these guys you see on Instagram, they're fucking loaded up with steroids, you know, they're taking, you know, diuretics, they're, to make themselves look ripped, they're taking, you know, fat burners, like clenbuterol, to like burn shit loads of fat, they're going on crash diets, and then they take 100 fo photos by a professional photographer, and drip feed them throughout the year, so that's all you're seeing, guys, Instagram, 
it's a great social media platform, but you have to be conscious of this when you when you go on and use it. You know, we live in an age that social media is just so pervasive. It's just in your face all the time. It's inescapable. And thankfully, you know, as you get older, you become more conscious of that. But the younger generation are going to find it difficult in the years to come. And all these factors are just are only going to increase. But if you're conscious of it, if you're conscious of not comparing yourself, if you're conscious of people only present their best selves on Instagram, you know, if you try and limit your accessibility of Instagram and you realize that these standards, they're not the real standards of what the male physique or the female physique or people's social standard standing in life is, then Instagram won't affect you in a negative sense, but it's about being conscious of it. So I just thought I'd give you a little insight into what the thesis showed and what the analysis analysis showed. And hopefully I can continue to get more videos up because I do enjoy making the videos. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, please like below and please subscribe guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.